Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanna show you my braid out, how I achieve my braid out. I've done this before, but I've gotten a request to do it again, so I am gonna do it again. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. All right, so starting out with freshly shampooed and deep conditioned hair, I'm gonna section off the lower back half and began to add my leave-ins using the lock method. First, starting out with my Alpha G Pro Vitamin Leave-In as my liquid. It's a 10 leave-in conditioner for my cream. And I do add a little bit of Kenya Moore Hair Serum for frizz. And then I seal all of that in with coconut oil. It came down to me knowing her bra size her waist size, and how she liked to be stimulated during the act. A few what? times. Okay. I'm watching part two of Surviving Derek Jackson. Ma'am. I knew this woman's body better than I knew my own for 10 years. Okay, so as crazy as it sounds, she had much more to say, but we will get back to that in a minute. Back to the braiding. So once I've completed the lock method in that section, as I'm braiding my hair, I will randomly add Jamaican black castor oil as needed to my strands. And then once I reach the ends, I'll put a lot more Jamaican black castor oil on the ends and wrap my hair with the gray rod. She has what you want. I would focus on her skin, how many blemishes she had, if any, if she was waxed or not, how flexible she was, how she responded verbally in the midst of the act. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link this video down below. Some of you guys have seen it already, but I am like, this is like real time. Like I am shocked. I've had a friend that would tell me numerous times about whatever guy she was dating, about like how much he did not like dark skinned women. And he would come straight out and just say he didn't like dark skinned women. This is a prime example of the things that I've gone through as a dark skinned woman, having light skinned friends, and they'll constantly say, he don't like dark skinned girls. He don't like dark skinned girls, but his baby mother is dark skinned. He he checking me every time I come around and want to know why April don't like me. Why April don't talk to me. I stay clear of you, sir, because I see you. Derek Jackson's wife desperately needs some help. Woo. All right. So moving up to the upper back section of my hair. I will then split that into two sections and begin applying my lock method. I'm not going to show putting all of those products in my hair again. However, I do want to let you know um, before I section this half into two sections, if any hair in that section was in the crown, that is what I just pinned up. All right, moving on to the front sections, I'm going to take whatever hair that may be in the crown area, I'm gonna section that off to meet with the back crown area and then begin working on one side of my hair. I do split that into two sections and then I'll apply the lock method to the section that I'm working in at that moment. Okay, you became obsessed with dark skinned women because that's what your husband, somebody you really wanted to be with, prefers. But the fact that you brought your child up because her skin is darker than yours, that I am so beyond uncomfortable. <laughs> like, somebody call Protective Child Services. Somebody need to call a mental health specialist. They need an intervention. Like... I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I, my mind is blown, you guys. I cannot. All right, so as you can see, I do take my time in braiding the hair so I don't have any snags because my hair is very, very fragile in this wet state. Please don't mind my face, you guys. I'm like completely blown. But moving on to the next section, I just will, again, repeat those same steps, applying the lock method and braiding that section down. For me. So basically what she said was, he's done this before in the past. 
And I told him, if he was to ever do this to me again, I would leave. He's done it again. You said you left and then you came back. I am a true believer of if it ain't your business, it ain't your business. If it ain't your household, it's not your household. If you're not laying in the bed with that person, it is absolutely none of your business. However, by them coming on YouTube and speaking to the world about their relationship, they have now made it public knowledge. It would have been different had she just, you know, not come on camera, just stay silent. But he's using her as a ploy to, it's, it's all business. It's all business. And one thing that really struck a chord with me, if you guys notice in the interview, was when she did begin to speak, the way he looked at her, he did not look at her lovingly. He looked at her like, you say something wrong, we're going we gonna to shut this camera down and I'm going to handle that. That's the look he gave her. It was very cold and distant. Okay, I'm running off at the mouth, but I just wanted to stop. And as you can see, I will stop every so often, pick up some oil and continue to braid. That is because if my hair doesn't feel like there's much slip in it, I'll go ahead and add more coconut oil or Jamaican black castor oil, whichever I feel would fit better for that section. But no matter what, on the ends of my hair, I always use Jamaican black castor oil on the ends of my hair before I wrap it around the rod. Now, someone asked me about end papers, and I definitely used to use end papers, but for this particular braid out, I could not find them, and I still wanted to get it done. So that's why you don't see me using them, but usually I do. All right, so this is the crown area that I was speaking of earlier. Um, I do the exact same thing in that section that I've did in all of my sections. This portion is very important to me because this crown area is what's going to cover the line in the back of my head created from the part when we sectioned our hair in two sections in the back. This portion is going to cover that line, that part that was created. As I was braiding, I was going down my strand with Jamaican black castor oil. I put a lot more of the castor oil on my ends and then I wrapped them in the gray rods. I only I ran out of gray rods, so I did have to use this orange one. So. Yeah, that's it. I put my bonnet on and then I go to sleep and I will see you guys in the morning when it's time to take my braid out. All right, so it is the next morning. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. I'm gonna coat my fingers with the coconut oil and let's get it cracking. Right, guys so that is how i achieve my braid out i will wear this for the week life is way too short you guys so be someone's light and until the next time be love